what's going on YouTube TR Tech here and in this short video I'm going to show you the upgrade I did for my Hyundai Equus. So I wanted to upgrade the navigation and infotainment system without having to actually alter the car. So what I did was I just found a uh, extra tablet I had around laying around the house and it's removable and the way I put it on is I actually put these uh, 3M mounted magnetic uh, holders here. I put two of them, they're adjustable so I can put it at any angle and they're very very easily taken off. My car does come with a stock navigation which it works pretty good. Uh, the only th problem that I've found was that it, the maps aren't updated, there's no real life traffic and you can't um, use any other kind of navigation with it. So when I actually put the tablet and use that as my infotainment system I can use uh, different kind of navigation maps and different kind of navigation apps as well and if I wanted to I could watch movies I could look at pictures I can use everything on here like I could do a phone as well and I can even adjust it up here put it up here that way I could use my stock navigation while the passenger could watch movies or play on the tablet as well. Another great feature of using a tablet as infotainment system just like this is I can play music videos. Let's see what I have here. Uh, go. And this is just music videos that I downloaded to the tablet itself. There's no Wi-Fi involved, so you don't have to worry about connection or anything like that. And also, I have music on there. I can play the music. And if you're probably wondering how the music plays through my car a stereo system of the car, um, very simple. You can just use an auxiliary jack. I know a lot of people like using that. Uh, I personally like wireless. I just connect it via Bluetooth, and I just play my music on there. And again, it's very simple. I can just take the tablet off whenever I'm ready. I can take the tablet and bring it inside my apartment and put music, put music videos, and put movies. That's the most important thing to me when we're on long trips. I'll put some movies on so my girlfriend can watch it up here. And then I can have my navigation still going here. Or I can switch over to a better navigation if I'm in an unfamiliar city. And lastly, the main reason that I uh, did a setup just like this was because of the customization. Let's say, for example, I get tired of the layout that I have here. <clears throat> I have all my navigations and my music here. Uh, I can change the whole thing up. I don't have to put my calendar there. I can put any apps I want on the screen that are useful to me while I'm driving. And there is an array of other uh, Android apps that you can use. This one is Automate here. Uh, there's a lot that mimic the Android Auto or uh, <clears throat> the uh, Apple CarPlay on there as well. Uh, you can customize the whole thing so I don't get bored of it and see the same thing every day when I'm driving. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. If you do have any questions, just uh, hit me up in the uh, comments below and I'll definitely get back to you. And if you have any questions about what tablet I'm using, why I chose this tablet, uh, just leave a comment in the bottom. I'll be sure to get back to you. As always, thank you for watching and I'll definitely see you for the next video.